What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you can see, we're back at the track with Troy's Mustang. Uh, he also brought out one of his other cars that he just bought recently, which you'll see later in this video. Before we get started, do me a huge favor, and if you enjoy this video, give it a like, leave a comment, share it with your friends. It helps us out a ton. If you want to support us even more, there's a join button right below this video. You can get access to exclusive videos as well as getting early viewings of videos like this. So yeah, we're just getting it warmed up here, getting a couple of things sorted out, and uh, yeah, then we'll dive right into it. Troy's cars. He just recently got it. He wanted to come out and just give it a run at the same time. We were going to have our friend Crabtree drive it, but when we first pulled it out and started it up and uh, noticed that it was smoking a lot from one of the banks, and uh, Nick took the plugs out and realized one of them was cracked, so I'm hoping that was causing what was going on. If that one was cracked and it was showing uh, you know, lean because it wasn't, it was just passing air through that cylinder, then it would have increased the amount of fuel that the motor, that the ECU thought it wanted. And so that would be smoking. Because it wasn't oil smoking, it was smoking like lots of fuel. But the air fuel wasn't showing very rich. So we think that's the case. We're gonna pop a new set of plugs in and hopefully that takes care. So the other thing about this is we didn't tune it. So I gotta log into this thing for the first time and see what they got going on in here. I mean, it's a good running car supposedly, so we probably won't have to do much, but um, he wants to turn it up. So we gotta check everything over and make sure that it looks like it's got everything that it needs and it's safe enough to turn it up. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So I have a bunch of different softwares on my computer and different firmwares, but um, this one unfortunately uh, has like the one firmware version in between what I have on my computer, so I have to upgrade the firmware to what I have, otherwise I can't uh, send an update to it. So we're going to upgrade the firmware real quick, it takes about 30 minutes, so we're just, we like rigged up tape on it so that the cable wouldn't fall out because we don't have one that screws in. So yeah, fingers crossed we upgrade the firmware, everything's good, and then we'll be able to make changes from that point on. Um, there's an issue with the Mustang. It's leaking, it's leaking uh, out of the freeze plugs. So while we're waiting for that to get sealed up, yeah, I know, we cannot seem to get up with this water system. So last time it was leaking into the motor, this time it's leaking out of the motor. <laughs> So we're just not doing well on that. But Need those tiny that, plugs. Yeah, yeah, need some tiny plugs. No, I mean seriously. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, while they're waiting for that to set, I figure, well, we got some time on this, so I'll upgrade the firmware, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. trying to seal up those freeze plugs that were leaking water and I'm just inputting the last couple of like minor changes. They, I wanted to do a shakedown pass. Their version of shakedown is like a 480 so that's what we're doing. Hopefully it should do around a 490, 480 or something with, with what's in it right now. I mean with a brand new motor and a bunch of things changed I kind of like to creep in it a little bit more than that but they want to they wanna go for it so um, a lot of extra safeties and tables that I put on here recently, and so I got to make sure that I didn't screw something up. Worst case scenario, the safety cut comes in when it shouldn't, and it shuts down the pass, and we'll just see it in the log and fix it. So everything should go pretty smooth. It should do a pretty quick, uh, quick pass. We don't have any lube in the methanol. I don't know if that's going to be a big deal. I don't think it is. I think it's more for like maintenance that we would want that. Um, so yeah, we'll see. That's one thing I'll keep an eye on, but. We just gotta get some data, and we'll go from there.
All right, so obviously we hit boost cut there, so we had to make some changes. Uh, Troy bought it right around to the lanes, and uh, we just made a couple of changes right there, let it cool down for a little while, and really with this cooling system that it has, it cools down really fast, so we were ready for another pass uh, pretty quickly. second pass that we did we were just kind of hoping for a full pass on that first one the throttle body wigged out there was an error on it after he did his burnout so like hung the rpm up real high which is weird um, but after he reset it everything was good um, but it hit boost cut and so we turned it down a little bit we raised the cut a little bit and we had in there what we thought would be a pretty smooth easy pass and uh, it popped real bad you can see in the video that was a safety cut and so when we came back and we were looking at it, we were like, I, I, like I know, I was pretty sure it was a safety cut, but I was really, really hoping that it wasn't the oil pressure safety cut. And sure enough, because we have a safety cut for if the injectors go up to uh, above 95%, and then we got one for fuel pressure, if fuel pressure drops below a certain amount, and then we got one for oil pressure, if oil pressure drops below a certain amount over an RPM. And sure enough, every time you heard that pop, it was because oil pressure was dropping. So. Unfortunately, Nick and I, I mean, Nick does, did the setup around the car and I'm doing the tuning. Luckily, the safety cut did its job. It probably saved this motor because if he would have continued on, I mean, it dropped all the way down really low. And uh, so good news is it, it, it saved the motor, but we don't really, the engine's not ours. And so we're not really sure what we can check. I mean, Nick's gonna call up the engine builder and see what he wants us to take a look at, but it might not be anything that we can do here. So, I don't know, we gotta, we gotta look into that. So right now, Troy got in the 55 and he uh, went to go make a pass on that. I set up the same safety cuts on those, so <laughs> if anything goes bad, it'll save that one too. But yeah, this is why, always have your safety cuts enabled. I blow up a motor not having my safety cuts. I was and gonna say. This one would have been a blown up motor if we didn't have the safety cuts. So, yeah, don't forget them. So that obviously didn't go to plan, but Nick and Troy are going to get that all fixed up and it will be back soon. But we also got the Mustang back up and running. There were a couple of fittings that worked themselves loose and it was impacting oil pressure. And so oil pressure really did go down, but the safeties caught it. And uh, now that those fittings were there, we tested it in the pits. Everything looked good, so we were ready to um, give one more try. Now, none of our other passes were really very good data, so we're still kind of just taking a swing at it. Uh, this might as well be our first pass, even though we've already tried two other ones. So, fingers crossed at this point, we were hoping for the best.
figuring out how much power it wants in it because this motor seems to be so much more healthy. Oh my god! Yeah! <laughs> dude, we won 115. Yeah, dude. Oh, shit. Dude! Woo! God, that was a pedal fest for Hey, you pedaled good. That was, you yeah, needed that was to. Legit. That was the gym. is incredible it just makes it so easy to go fast that was what we would consider an aborted pass and it just went better than his previous